One of the things I was reminded of when um, when the new piece of furniture turned up is that I have something I want to sell on eBay. So for the last, I don't know, five years, I've had two hot water bottles that I bought from Primark and they've lasted really well. Last year, one of them sprung a leak, so that had to go. And just a few days ago, my second one sprung a leak. So I now have no hot water bottle. Now, earlier in the year, a friend of mine gave me a electric blanket, which I will show you now. Brand new, still in the packaging. Packaging's been open, but it's never been out the bag. And when my second hot water bottle sprung a leak, I wondered whether or not to use it. But I've Googled it, and it's very obviously clear that having a hot water bottle is a lot cheaper than an electric blanket. So I've decided to sell this electric blanket and I have put it on eBay as a new without tags. Um, in my sort out in that room, I found a bunch of stuff to sell on Vinted. And um, what I've also now done is I've been on Vinted and I have bought myself a new hot water bottle. There are loads on Vinted and this one it's actually exactly the same one as the one that I've uh, that I've that's just sprung a leak, but obviously it's brand new, so that could last me another three or four years, and um, it's cost me one pound thirty eight, which even Primark can't do. So I'm just waiting for that to arrive. Um, it's going to come to the in post lockers across the road from where I live. So hopefully by the beginning of the week I'll have a hot water bottle again because it's starting to get really cold. Temperatures are going to dip to just 2 degrees at night this week. Um, it's a lovely day today, blue sky, sun, but it's really chilly. It's only 15 degrees indoors today. So I'm getting in my steps or my step counter to keep me warm. And I've started drinking a lot more hot tea. But um, yeah, so I've, I've put that, I've decided to sell it. I'd rather have the money and I think it's going to cost me too much to run. They were, I think they worked out it was going to cost something like 5p an hour or something, which if, if, you, if you were using it, you'd be like, oh, I'll just put it on for five minutes, I'll just put it on for half an hour, and before you know it, you've probably doubled your electric bill, which I'm not going down that route. So, um, yeah, that one I've just listed on eBay, so hopefully we shall sell that. It's a few days later, and my hot water bottle has arrived. I'm really pleased about that, because... It's been freezing here, it's been so cold. So I'm looking forward to getting that into operation this evening. Uh, the other thing that's happened is that I listed the, um, the electric blanket that I mentioned earlier. And I listed it for £24. And after a couple of days, because I put it on as like an auction, after a couple of days someone made me an offer of £20.50. So including the postage, um, I've, I've uh, taken a payment of about £27. So I'm quids in and I don't regret selling it. I think it would have ended up costing me more money. My gas and electric bill came through this morning and I have been away a bit um, at my parents so that would have re reduced my bill down and we're now getting a new discount from the supplier. So my bill I think was uh, about four or five pounds cheaper than last month. So it's only part way through the month when the price caps change and when the new bills have come in. So I'm hoping that next month will be even better. It's not going to be massive, but if I can get my bill down to around you know, £35, and I still haven't put the heating on by then, normally I wouldn't put it on until December, then we might do okay, but we'll have to keep an eye on things. Um, I'm thinking about other things I need to do for winter. There's a couple of other things that I'm going to talk about, um, which I think you might find useful. My new hot water bottle has arrived. And I'm so relieved. The last few nights were really cold without one. Uh, 13 degrees in the flat today and we've had lows between 5 degrees and 2 degrees. Um, it seems like the next few days are going to be higher. We're going to be 11 to 13, so it's all over the place at the moment. Uh, while I was waiting for this to turn up, 
I was looking at thermal leggings and a new set of loungewear. When I bought these, or my original hot water bottles back in 2019, I also bought some loungewear, just one set, and I've worn it to death. I mean, I practically live in it. So it's, um, it's not at its best anymore. It's still wearable, but it's getting a bit thin. And I started to look um, at buying some new lounge pants. The top is fine, but the lounge pants are something that I could replace. I was in Morrison's the other day and had a little look just to see what was there. And they had the perfect pair, just what I wanted, but they were £11. I, was like, I can't justify buying something for £11. I don't have the spare money at the moment. I can't justify it. So I've been looking on Vinted and I've seen pairs for, you know, I can probably get a pair for about £4. Um, nearly new, lightly worn, fine, no problem. But I have to say I have become an absolute master at convincing myself not to buy something. So I was I was hovering over the buy it now button. I found some lounge pants on Vinted. It was going to come to four pounds and four pence, and I had my credit card out. I almost hit buy it now, and I thought, can I actually justify this? When I'm at home, I'll wear whatever's the warmest thing. So I've got my lounge pants. I've got my red. Um, pyjama bottoms which I often wear when I'm just hanging around at home which you will have seen on the video I did where I was showing the new piece of furniture they're really nice to wear around the house I've also got a proper fluffy winter set of pyjamas which the bottoms I will often wear when it gets really cold so I have three pairs that I can wear when I'm around and about at home and that's all I want this for so I can't justify it so I've convinced myself not to buy it I could have bought it I've sold the electric blanket I've made about 22 pounds on that all told after fees and everything else has come out so I'm kind of money in on with money that I wouldn't have had so I could have spent that but I'd rather bank it, to be honest with you. I was almost tempted to go into either Sainsbury's or Morrison's and buy some lounge pants. Morrison's had just offered me 100 points um, when I next shop in Morrison's. I could spend that on anything. And uh, Sainsbury's are offering 750 extra points when I spend £20 on clothing on the two range. And that 750 points equates to £3.75, I think it is. But I've got to spend £20. Now, I could just use my nectar points, and then I wouldn't have actually spent the money. But then that's pretty much all my nectar points gone, which means there's no money for food. So I can't justify it. So I've successfully convinced myself out of buying lounge pants. There will always be lounge pants in the world, and when I finally do actually need to get some... Um, they're, they're, they will be around, there's no need to panic by. Now that I have this, this makes an enormous difference. Um, and two of these a night, or in an evening, say from about six o'clock when the temperatures really start to dip in the evening, will get me through the night. And that's a hell of a lot cheaper than buying extra clothes or putting on an electric blanket so someone else gets the blanket I get the money and I'm not going to buy clothes so that was my justification for almost spending money not a lot of money and then not spending the money I can't justify it and I'm sure that if I go through some of my um, clothing I will find other trousers that will be just as good so yeah talk myself out of it no spending today